the weekend. It's obviously Saturday. We're going to do the same shit, different weekend. Um, we're going to head to a couple of openings. I'm going to go to Home Goods <laughs> while Connor sneezes really loud. Um, <laughs> what, you just had to be heard? Is that what it was? <laughs> um, I'm going to go to Home Goods while he goes to TJ Maxx just so we can bust them out, go to two openings at once. They're right across the street from one another. Gonna get breakfast and obviously get our groceries because that's what we do on Saturdays. Other than that, I don't really know what we're gonna Fight be doing. Tonight. Yeah, we're gonna go to Connor's friend's house to watch the fights. Who's fighting again? Uh, DC and Stipe and Nate Diaz and Anthony Pettis. If you're into UFC, that's who we're gonna watch. We're, I think we're gonna go over to one of his friend's house. UFC 241. Yeah, UFC 241. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, we're gonna go over to one of his friend's house to watch the fights. And yeah, other than that, it's it's chill. Um, I kind of need it. Uh, the past two weeks, I've worked 100 hours because um, the mortgage industry is just so much fun. It's just a freaking blast. So yeah, I just wanted to say good morning. Uh, if you want to watch us, if you want to watch how we spent our weekend, then just go ahead and keep on watching. I had to figure out that. I still need my coffee. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't had Ready Whip since we've had pie. Which was probably the last holiday season. Or do you want me to keep it in my wallet? My no, wallet's well, fine. Hey guys! <clears throat> Didn't vlog yesterday. We did end up really going to Connor's friends. But something super exciting. I woke up with almost a flat tire. So <laughs> we had to just drop off my car at Walmart because discount tire isn't open on Sundays and I need tires. So um, that's going to be what? Like another $150? Blessing in disguise though. Why? Because if we went to discount tire, we would have paid more. Okay, thanks for seeing the silver lining. But yeah, that's been our morning so far. Um, and I woke up and, because yesterday I was going through all of my Ray Dunn for the hauls um, upcoming. And I was like, for some reason I had like thought about it in okay. my dream. Um, I was I was like, oh my god, I don't know where this one item is, and I was searching everywhere for it. Could not find it, but I found it. Um, it just took me a minute. So I was like in a bad mood from that, and then I saw my tire was flat, because I went out there to see if it was in my car. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Just can't catch a break. It's like, right, it's just like, it's terrible timing. I know we needed to change the tire, so I was hoping we could hold out just a little bit longer, but God had other plans. He's just trying to spend all my overtime money right now. Um, but we went uh, and got... Um, 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 what? You'd have a lot more money. Hey, this? Yeah. I need all of that. You don't... I need it all. <laughs> I know. You'd um, have a lot. I'd have a lot. More money. Honestly, if you've ever thought about how much money you spent on Ray Dunn, you'd probably throw up. I've actually thought about that like last week, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we got Starbucks, um, one of the girls at work gave me a $20 Starbucks card for helping her out, so that pretty much paid for our breakfast, which was much needed at this moment, so we're gonna eat that. Are we gonna watch MasterChef? Do you wanna watch MasterChef? Or do you wanna, do you wanna, wanna watch, watch Last Chance, Chance You? If you guys are into football at all, like documentary, docu-series docu -series type of stuff, Last Chance You is dope on Netflix. Um, yeah, let's watch that. I know I said that, you just don't like to listen to me. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, it's a little bit later now. It's around one o'clock. Picked up the car. Um, it was only around $150 for two car or for two tires, so it wasn't too bad. So $150 that I'd rather spend on a nice birthday dinner for Connor, because his birthday's in like two weeks. But... Yeah, right, you spent it already done, don't rob. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, we did go to a couple of open well, we went to one opening. Absolutely nothing. We got to, well, we went to one Marshalls that apparently hasn't had anything and there hasn't been anything. That's that Marshalls is so dry. But yeah, um I feel like I have more to say. Probably not. Um we were just going through Connor's phone and like looking at all of the pictures and videos from when he had that phone. And it was just like going down memory lane, so it was kind of sweet. You can see me in the back, right over there. I can't, there we go. Um, yeah, 
Connor's gonna go to his friend Aiden's to help him do something. Okay. And then <laughs> while he's doing that, I might do something with my face. Cause I need to film. My hurl. Um what? my hurl! <laughs> but yeah. I already have the Sunday scaries. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. So just filmed and a bitch can't talk. I don't know if it's like me being overexcited or what, but my lord, I cannot talk. But Oliver looks so freaking cute right now. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at him. Look at that little sweepy face. Oh my goodness, you got bad head. Did you have a bath today, Mr. Bear? Yeah, you had bath today? You're so cute. Yeah, I had she give him a bath today because he, he pooped himself. Let's just be real. If you guys have dogs, you probably, you probably know. Some of them shipped themselves. They ship, he shipped his pants. Um, sorry, I'm like unscrewing this guy that goes on my tripod from you guys. Yeah, um, he had a dingleberry. That was terrible. And I know that's probably nasty for you guys to hear, but this is the life of a dog mom. And... I had to clean his butt today. So that was fun. He hates baths. He hates them with passion. I got my lamp because it's kind of overcast right now. Um, not really sure what that's about. I was kind of hoping to maybe go to the pool and get some color because I've definitely lost mine since the beginning of the summer. But not happening anymore. There's no point in being outside if it's not sunny. Um, I have to start Connor's. Connor has laundry in the dryer and I didn't want it going on in the background. So I gotta start it back up again. Um, I, I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say. I literally cannot form sentences right now. It's terrible. I have a couple of things. I did get some decals that I wanna put on my salt and pepper shakers that I hauled last week. So I'm going to do that, I guess, in a couple minutes. I just have to put away the done that I have right there. This is kind of how I put all the stuff over there and then I move it to the left of me when I film. Um, but I have to find somewhere to put that. I don't have anywhere to put my shit. It's a good time. And it's not focusing on me. Go put these decals on. I actually have like stuff to make like a little tray to prop up some of my radon. I need to make. I've had the stuff for like two months now. Let's read the directions. There's an alcohol pad. So I got, yeah, I got curses. I don't know if you can see that. And I got spells. Okay. Clean your surface with the alcohol pad, allow it to dry. Rub. Use a credit card or scraper to scrub the detail. I'm not going to use a credit card because y'all are still on my money, so no, I'm just kidding. I use my Regal Crown Club card, so if y'all want to give me some points, I'm not stopping you. Papa. Okay. You see my face? Okay, this alcohol wipe. It doesn't feel moist. Some of you might hate that word. It doesn't even smell like it has alcohol on it. You know what, we're just gonna trust the process, right? Okay. You know what, I'm just gonna go get an alcohol wipe of my own, just to be safe. Okay. When you have glasses, you just have a bunch of this shit hanging out. There we go, nice and clean. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend, or week, because it's gonna be up on a Thursday. 
kind of changed my schedule because I just don't have time to really film or I feel like anything really relevant for you guys to or for me to make a video on. Okay, anyways, let's see, I'm not really good with decals. Wait, hold on. Peel carefully the backing from the paper from the tape. Oh, I guess. I just don't like to read, guys. I can't. Peel carefully. Woo! I'm trying to figure out where the actual back is. Uh, carefully the backing. Peel carefully the backing from the paper. Let's take. That's even. Okay, apply the plus <laughs> remove. I don't use a lot of decals, so I really, for the most part, have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week. When you guys are watching this, it's going to be Friday Eve, and if you guys are anything like me, you are probably so excited for the weekend, because your job just sucks. So, actually, you know what? Comment down below what uh, field of employment are you in. I'm curious to see what, um, what you guys do for a living, you know, just in case I decide to change my, I don't know. My career path. I don't know. I like you, like some of you guys may know. I am in the mortgage industry, and I currently pretty much send out like initial loan docs. So like I send out. If any of you guys have ever purchased a house, you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. I send out your initial loan application. I'll send out your uh, loan, your initial loan estimate. Um, kind of all of those. Like this huge packet of paperwork that you have to sign. It's like, depending on the kind of loan program, it, it can range anywhere from like 80 to 130 documents. So that's what I do. Um, the mortgage industry is a very stressful job. So I was just kind of curious to see what y'all are in. Sometimes I feel like I just can't, I can't hack it anymore. <laughs> I just, I really don't. Cool. So there's curses. I like the way it came out. I think I did a pretty good job with centering it on the back. So cool. There's that. So I'm gonna do spells. And oh my gosh, the spells one took forever. For some reason, it just did not want to transfer. So hope it doesn't look too bad. Oh my god, this one was a nightmare. And my hands got like super sweaty because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess this up. So my hands get really sweaty when I get nervous. But uh, yeah, finally got, I got spells and curses. So give me more decor. I'm already done Halloween. So if you are at all interested in these decals, I will try and link the shop that I use on Mercari. It was actually really, really inexpensive for the two of them. I got for $8 and it was free shipping, so I really would suggest that um, if you wanted to get any decals. She has a ton. She has a ton. I think she has like some for, for Ta, Happy Halloween, like all the basic stuff. So if you're interested, I will leave it below. Um, I'm kind of hungry. I don't know what to eat. I also think that I... I'm gonna be a lazy butt. Actually, I need to do laundry. And then, since Connor's at home, he's not on the big TV, so I might just, you know, watch some YouTube on the big TV. Like, mirror it there, or I'll see what's on TV. Guys, if any of you guys watch Southern Charm, the uh, season finale that was on Wednesday, what do you guys think? I felt like. I felt like there should have been more drama between Ashley and Patricia. But there was like a minute, maybe a minute and a half of it, and it was the last thing in the finale. I feel like they hyped it up a lot more um, in the beginning of the season, and even this like 
for the season finale. I feel like the season finale was kind of meh, um, but I still absolutely love the show. So I was just curious if any of you guys watch it, your thoughts on it. Comment below. Yeah. Okay. I guess. See you guys in a little bit. Thank you.